If you want to add animation to your website and make it nicer without using Firmotion or GSAP or any other complicated library and just want to use it with Tailwind, just make it as simple as that, just using Tailwind, making some nice animation, then that's exactly what I'm going to show you today in this video. And by the way, if you don't know my, I'm Amin. I, I was 17 when I left Canada and now I'm living uh, in Indonesia doing coding as a living and I help aspiring developers do the same. So if you're ready guys, let's start this video. Okay, so this is the plugin, it's called Rumble. And as you can see, you just make animations with Tailwind. So you can make this bounce just by writing motion preset bounce. And it's really simple to install it. So we're gonna do that together. So you can go to the steps here. And it's just two step. So copy paste the installment, like the npm install. Copy paste it. And your code, by the way, this is the next just 15 project. But you can do it with any project as long as you can have uh, Tailwind. So now the project, uh, the plugin is installed. You go to your Tailwind config. You, you copy paste that. So this plugins, and just gonna uh, paste it. But as you can see, I have this uh, error or warning. It's just a ESLint uh, warning, so it's not a big deal. It's still gonna work. But if you want to uh, remove this uh, error, what you can do in Next.js. You can just import the plugin here and uh, add it in your plugins like that. You're also gonna have maybe a TypeScript error, uh, error if you use TypeScript. And it's just because you need to declare the plugin and you just make a file called Tailwind CSS uh, SAS motion .d .ts and declare it like that and you're not gonna have any uh, warning. So now we're ready to start. And I'm gonna go to the uh, page, like the, 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 let's say the home page, if you want, of this small application. I'm gonna have to run it first. Run dev. And just, just open it. And let's try. So I have this basketball. Okay, so it's just a simple emoji, but I'm gonna make some animations just to show you how this uh, plugin works. So here I have my basketball in the class name. So you go. Uh, make uh, you just write motion and that's how you make animation so you just write motion and then you can play so now it's time to play so you're just gonna scroll see what you need so for example a seesaw pulse uh, stretch blink flow emoji so let's try uh, this pulse one which I liked uh, before so preset pulse large so if I, yeah, so now I have this uh, pulse, which make like the ball is uh, is bouncing, right? So it's nice. What all you can do is mix this animation stuff uh, with basic telling, because this is telling. So what you can do is, let's say, for example, I want to click on it, so it bounces, so it make really an effect that I'm, the user is bouncing the ball. So what I can do is use the active, uh, Tailwind class, or I don't know how you call it class, but uh, yeah, so you use active and you go on your website and now it doesn't do the animation. But when I click on it, then it starts bouncing. So that's an, I think that's a cool one because like the user will feel like it's bouncing the ball. But you can just mix stuff. So that's a nice one. Another one which is cool, I think, is the text. So that's really handy for like, um, let's say, hero sections. What you can do is use the, um, uh, again, motion, and then type router. Okay, so the GitHub Copilot has already uh, uh, suggested me something. And here it's a really nice animation, which is just this line. It's really simple. The, the 12 is like the number of character. So for example, if I would do like 24, it would be really big, but that's not what we want. It's 12. So that's a really nice one. And I think for every section, it's really uh, valuable. Just gonna comment it, just so I don't have uh, uh, so much animations. But now we're gonna try some more animations. So you can play around. You can just try other stuffs. Uh, rotate, translates. Uh, a slide, a slide one is actually nice, I think. So for example, here uh, I'm just gonna show you because you can use it for a lot of stuff, especially like cards and uh, yeah. For example, slide. So yeah, this this component is just gonna come. With sliding, we just tailwind, just write tailwind. It does it, don't need free motion or GSAP or anything, you just need to uh, tailwind. And so, it makes some nice emission for a basketball. It's not really valuable, but let's say you have a card or you have 
I don't have a portfolio and you have a, a car with the project and it, when the user scroll it comes uh, by sliding so that's a nice animation I think and so yeah let's just remove that and let's try some uh, some nice uh, some nice animation so if you go on rumble you're gonna you, you can play here so for example you can try the animation so blur confetti for example if you just try that one here so let's do the confetti one and then here when you refresh the page so you have this small uh, confetti so it's a really nice way especially if you have a button or you want someone to click on a button and when he clicks it uh, gives some confetti it's a, it's a nice uh, thing to for interaction on your website and you can just play that, that's the thing we used to before bounce flow emoji so it's a nice one but in the bottom you have something where you can make custom animations which I think is more uh, nicer because you don't have to play with Tailwind to make an uh, animation you can just come here and start playing there so what you can do is create your own but you they already have some so for example a model that's a really a handy one uh, you can play with it too so for example you want to change the uh, opacity for example and you can just play it again just to see what's the effect do you want it or not you can this is focus in and the roll one which I think the roll one is uh, pretty nice and just have to uh, cop copy the class so let's copy it go to our code and write it I know it's a lot of uh, line <laughs> but it's Tailwind and uh, we're used to that so I have <laughs> a lot of classes in Tailwind but this is uh, yeah, this is a long line for a nice animation. So let's try uh, on the website. So for example, reload comes spinning, and uh, I think it's a nice one, especially for a basketball. So you can use it for other stuff, uh, for a button if you really have, want some interactions. Well, you, let's uh, you can uh, take your imag imagination and do whatever you want. So yeah, and you can play with it. So for example, let's say you want it from the bottom instead of the top. So let's let's do like it's a, it's a shot, basketball shot. And then just copy the, pla the, the, the the class, come here, copy paste it, and it's in two seconds, I change it from the bottom to uh, the top. So it's like a, it's like a shot. I'm making a three pointer. By the way, I'm a good basketball player. If you, <laughs> if someone wants to challenge me basketball, want to come in Indonesia, I'll be more than happy to make a <laughs> basketball game. But yeah, and you can create your own, of course. So let's say you want uh, this square, and you want it to be like bouncy. Um, so yeah, that's how you make custom animations. Uh, you can play with it, play around, and uh, do some crazy stuff. For example, uh, instead of uh, bouncy cubic, and just play around, just play around, and uh, have fun, guys. That's pretty much the video, guys. I hope you liked it. It's a way to make animation with Tailwind. Uh, it's really easy because you don't feel that you're learning something new. It's just you feel like you're writing Tailwind. As simple as that. But I think it's really handy for. Uh, for my other application so I think uh, from now on I'm gonna be using this this plugin for like all my my website just to put some nice animation uh, here and there and so you guys hope you like the video put a like comment I'm gonna answer to your comment guys by the way I still uh, offer free consultations so for this week I'm gonna make maybe five other one uh, for free so you still have a chance to uh, to take one and book one with me if you have any questions like how to get clients how to get a job uh, how to start uh, what's the best way to learn coding for example any question you want even if you just want to know are you are you a good fit to start coding like should you start coding or not so yeah guys hope you like the video and i see you soon